Hi, I'm Dr. Philip Shallow at the Upper Cervical Care Center. And I want to talk to you today um, specifically about singers and what can happen with singers and why they might have some trouble feeling comfortable in singing, particularly in the range, and how long does it take to warm up. I'm going to talk about the muscles that suspend the larynx. The larynx is the voice box and uh, the muscles that hold it like in a sling um, start up here in the head, way under here and under here, under your jaw, under your tongue. And they suspend uh, the larynx from above and then there's connections that go down into the ribs and the collarbones and even the shoulder blade. And they have to be nice and balanced as a neutral, uh, sort of a default um, tone. Muscle tone needs to be nice and balanced in there. And um, there's a thing that happens that makes them out of balance. And I'm going to introduce some terminology now. It's called, you get out of adjustment. You're either in adjustment or you out of adjustment. And if you're in adjustment, we've got really clear and good, strong signals from the brain all the way through to the body that tell everybody how to behave, all the muscles how to behave, how to um, be balanced. And if you're out of adjustment, there's some little disconnect up here. Maybe you banged your head uh, or um, you had a nasty car accident, um, but it dislodges that first couple of bones in the neck and and uh, interferes with that communication between the brain and the body. That's out of adjustment, that's not good. Now what, what does that look like for the singer? All of a sudden now, the muscles that are supposed to be balanced aren't getting the right signals. So one side is gonna be tighter than the other. And the net effect is that as you're singing, you feel like you have to push against this wall and it's a wall of tension and uh, you spend years or hours, you know, trying to work that out. But what's actually happening is, is there's a breakdown in that communication system. And over the last 19 years, I've seen uh, a number of singers who had that. And as soon as we got the correction in there, everything cleared up and singing was just a piece of cake. Let me show you on Oleander here what I'm talking about. This is Oleander went out of his head. Um, here's the hyoid bone and what we have are muscles that go all the way up from here from the end of the head uh, down to the hyoid and the larynx and then all the way down here to the collarbone and some of these connections to the ribs and all the way back here to the shoulder blade and um, here's a here's a picture I found in in England back in 1989 when I was studying there. It's very um, helpful to see um, the top image is the suspensory mechanism and you can see the red uh, tissues um, go up in into the hyoid bone. Can you see that? Right here. Here's the hyoid bone. There's those tissues and down to the collarbone and then all the way back here to the styloid process under your head. And, uh, and again, this is what we're looking at. Suspensory mechanism here, and then down here, <clears throat> and then down here. All of that has to be perfectly balanced. So I can anticipate that there's a question, so what if it's just my shoulder that's out of position? Yeah, it could be just your shoulder that's out of position. It could actually be just the collarbone that's out of position. Um, but that puts this huge drag on the neck muscles. And um, so it's just a matter of finding somebody who knows exactly what to look for and uh, watch the indicators to tell us that you're in or out of adjustment here and what actually needs to be corrected. Does that make sense? So uh, we help singers and we help musicians and it's just an absolute trip. Because if you know me, uh, I used to be a musician and um, a violinist, and uh, you are the instrument that plays the instrument. And especially for singers and wind players, you're the instrument. And uh, 
we want to preserve that. We want to restore that when things are broken down. Thanks for listening.